And we are speaking with Melissa Oftemar. Me, Melissa Oftemar, Montreal, Quebec. Uh, your new multidisciplinary art project. Yes. And record out of our minds is out April 6th through FI Records, I do believe. FI, madam. My, my new partners in Montreal and I have created an independent North American label to release a multimedia album project concept 21st century style out of our minds oom um. do tell us about out of our minds what's the basic story well it all started with a song first a witchy wail wow my bass go da do do gong gong and then travel out of our minds into our hearts standing by our hearts been standing by for so long when those words came out, the way that song came out, that's what gave the thematic, sonic direction. The heart of the record was born in that song, uh, and then that's what the root of all of the extra components. So the film out of our minds, the comic out of our minds. The comic is a mirror to the film, and the film is a half-hour fantasy, HD, solar-powered, um, time travel hunt for the heart story and it uh, so it came from the notion in that line travel out of our minds into our hearts standing by it's a sort of a it's a call an, an open invitation to leave this box go to this box so to speak so in the symbol of mind versus heart or physical versus spiritual or um, man versus woman, masculine versus feminine, all of the those two sides, the sun and the moon, the, the awake life, the, the sleeping life, the subconscious, the conscious, and it's, uh, you know, we all know that the world is a little unbalanced on one of the sides, and if we would only just continue, you know, spending a little bit more time on the heart, subconscious, emotion side, Maybe we'd come up with some pretty nifty answers to our problems. Uh, within that, um, there's, you know, there's, the fact is that with film and music and the ritual of making music, the ritual of sharing music in a live show, the ritual of uh, writing music, it's ancient. It's an ancient ritual where you are literally tapping into the magic. Your antenna goes up and you're receiving and you're, shutting this thing down and you're feeling. So already the nature of experiencing and creating music, film, arts is an exercise to return to that place. So when you're, so generally, and we you know my, my relationship to music as a maker and as a listener is I, you let go and you feel something just like when you go in a dream where you just, you're in another, in the parallel world, um, the other dimension. And I guess, I wanted to see how far I could go with that one theme within, you know, but rooted in rock music, film, and comic, three popular culture languages, a thing that can invite anybody and, and, and push the boundaries of reality, explore fantasy and subconscious and surrealism and psychedelia, push that as far as you can, um, with uh, modern day technology. So whether it's HD or Pro Tools or website or blog or, or little snippets and hints and, and free downloads. And it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a multi-dimensional universe inviting people to not only lose their minds, but to travel into it in as very many portals as possible. So already the, the film and the project have gone to science fiction conventions, fine art gallery, um, film festival, rock show, gallery, like big museum, little museum, and the concept of making one project that is very universal and multidimensional and being able to bring it to, to the people in its various shapes and sizes, you know, from digital to physical, and being able to um, give the viewer and listener the option to find their way into the world in there's various entryways and points of entry which gives you your own experience. And that was also a commitment I made to myself of um, wanting to uh, offer a multidimensional experience in a very one-dimensional world. Well spoken. <laughs>